Nityanam guys, welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashiva. In this video, I want to talk about why vegetarianism, why not veganism, and uh, actually it's a more of a custom vegetarianism, I would call it perhaps Shaivite vegetarianism, and, uh, and yeah, why uh, the importance of it. So first thing I want to, uh, slow, uh, I'll address a little bit, I, I, I'll do other videos more in detail about that, but meat eating lifestyle is a lifestyle which, uh, is a, it's a lifestyle which constantly cherishes violence in various ways. Violence to the animals and uh, cherishing the, uh, continuously cherishing the violence within ourselves in the muscle memory by uh, feeding emotions like fear, anger, hatred and everything that are stored in the muscles of the animals and when you consume these muscles then you also take the muscle memory and that reinforces your muscle memory which needs to be discarded for the sake of reaching enlightenment. So um, it is a it's a negative lifestyle uh, which is not sustainable by the planet anyways especially not with 8 billion people and even our body is not meant to uh, eat meat even though it does handle the meat eating it handles it with a lot of side effects so if you want to uh, free yourselves from these side effects you should really consider about your decision of consuming uh, meat products now another thing I want to share uh, in this video uh, there's two things the first one will be why Shaivite vegetarianism not veganism so veganism is basically no animal products at all Shaivite vegetarianism is not vegetarianism. Vegetarianism will have some kind of, of animal products like eggs and mushrooms and stuff like that, which Shaivism, Shaivite vegetarianism does not have. Because one thing that needs to be cleared is that the, the purpose of vegetarianism is to stop feeding the muscle memory so that we can free ourselves from these uh, negative memories stored in the muscles so that we can uh, get uh, into the space of enlightenment faster. And... Um, some of the foods like mushrooms do uh, to a small extent have muscle memory so even mushrooms are avoided in the uh, diet that we follow uh, Shaivite shy vegetarianism and there's other things also even food like uh, at some point Swamiji you were sharing like uh, cauliflower because in order to produce cauliflower they have to kill a lot of worms because apparently there's a lot of worms which are attracted by cauliflower so these kinds of vegetables should also be avoided because there's a lot of violence uh, in order to produce that vegetable. Now, of course, in today's world, it's very difficult because of the mass production for the need for feeding the people and all the bugs and pesticides. It's a big battle, but, um, but it's going to happen. The more we stand for it, the more we will manifest the breakthrough we seek. Now, the why we should go veg Shaivite vegetarianism and not veganism is that you should consume cow products, but not, not any cow products. It should be cow produ uh, products produced by a cow which is being worshipped and treated um, as a deity. So that is why in India there's Goshalas and that will be another video and the importance of cows. But Goshalas is basically a shelter where we cherish cows and we take care of cows and, and use their products like milk, uh, ghee, and um, but, uh, buttermilk, uh, yeah, ghee, uh, what else do they produce, curd, um, even for medicinal purposes, cow urine, cow dung for other purposes, not for eating. <laughs> but anyways, different products of cows should be um, used because cows which are being worshipped, not the cows which are being fed for killing and there's no question of eating meat in, in uh, Shaivism, uh, vegetarianism, no, no cow's meat, but the cow's products. Uh, but uh, we're not talking about you know, mass production of cows for the sake of killing or just milking or making babies. That is, that is totally not right and you should not consume any of these products. But products which are produced by a cow which is being worshipped in which Devi the feminine consciousness is invoked and starts radiating, these products will heal and it will bring so much completion to your muscle memory and your bio memory, which will facilitate your experience of uh, liberation. So that is one of the main reasons why Shaivite vegetarianism is the best eating lifestyle. Now, 
Another point that Swamiji shared recently in a satsang is the context from which you make that decision matters. It has a bigger impact than just the decision itself. Some people might be shy about vegetarianism or vegan for different reasons. Some people, you know, they don't want to have health, they, they, they want to have good health, for instance. And sure, you will have this benefit. But the context we should cherish is the space of non-violence and freeing ourselves from our violence by uh, living this uh, uh, this habit, this lifestyle. And uh, when you constantly remember the purpose, the context from which you make the decision of eating what you're eating every time you eat, um, that will allow the completion to happen in you. And like I said, cow products bring a lot of completion. So when the conscious awareness and the conscious remembrance of it, the context from which you're making the decision, plus, sorry guys, the video got cut out of space. So what I was sharing is we have to remember the context when we eat, every time we eat. Only then the true benefits of, uh, uh, of will happen. It should be a conscious creation. It shouldn't be like, oh, one time I decide to be vegetarian, uh, shy about vegetarian, then I'm shy about vegetarian. But every time you eat, you forget the reasons why you became shy about vegetarian. No, it shouldn't be like that. It should be like every time you eat, you sit, you remember the context, you know why you're doing it, and you know what is, what is going to happen in you when you invite that, so that the violence gets completed within us, so that we can live more peacefully and blissfully and powerfully. And, uh, and that is very important. So like I said, when you don't have the right context, you, you will have some benefits because the lifestyle itself gives benefit, but uh, you will not have the full benefits. You know, you see a lot of people like uh, vegans, you know, abusing meat eaters and they're not competing with their violence fully. Um, they're using their violence and they, re they redirect it towards meat eaters, but that's not the purpose. Purpose is to get rid of the violence inside of us. And that is why Shaivite vegetarianism and worshipped cow products are very important. So I'll make a video about cows because it's a big topic in Hinduism and a lot of people think that Hindus are crazy by worshipping cows, but that's mainly because they don't understand the science of bio-memory and muscle memory and, um, and the science of puja, basically. So uh, I'll make a video about that because that's very important. But for this video, if you have any comments or any question about Shaiva vegetarianism or even uh, related to that topic, please leave the comment below. I will take them in consideration and make videos about that if I have any click or any cognitions to share about your question. So uh, with that being said, thank you very much for watching, inviting you to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you know when I uh, upload. Some people have told me that recently because I did change some settings on the YouTube account that they get the notifications in spam now. Uh, so that's very unfortunate. But um, yeah, so just be aware of that. Be mindful of that. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment. Nityanandam. Thank you very much.